Apple CarPlay is basically one of the best innovations available in any vehicle, in my personal opinion. It can do everything from having access to Siri, check your messages on the go while you're driving, offer support for not the native GPS system that most vehicles come with, so you don't have this weird looking generic one, but you actually have the nice Apple Maps, or you can use third parties like Google Maps and Waze. But there's a couple of settings that I highly recommend others to at least be aware of that you should all disable, especially if you are somebody who's in the share writing industry. Sometimes some of these notifications can be extremely sensitive and you don't really want others to know. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about some of those settings and other settings to turn off, especially to those that are also annoyed whenever you start your vehicle and it automatically starts auto playing the last song you were listening to. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the settings to turn off and some cool things to be aware of so you can really customize your Apple CarPlay to your own personal preference. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off this video by going over the first way to turn off CarPlay in general. I'm not gonna leave my Apple CarPlay turn off, I really do like it, but if you wanna find out how to turn it off, it's like this. First, on your main device on your iPhone, let me go ahead and screen share. You need to go into your settings on your main device, scroll down to screen time, and go into content and privacy restrictions. Go ahead and enable the restriction, and go into allowed apps, and here where you see CarPlay, disable that. And now, whenever you get in your vehicle, if you have wireless CarPlay support, instead of forgetting it on the main unit, you can just disable it right here, and that's how you can turn off CarPlay in general. So next time you plug it into your vehicle, via USB or another friend's car, the little term and condition, or if you wish to continue using Apple CarPlay screen, won't pop up. So that is how you can turn off CarPlay in general on your main device. Now the next setting I recommend turning off or at least be aware that it exists is turning off your notifications whenever you receive a message. If you're in a ride sharing business as I previously mentioned or you just don't want others to be distracted and ask you a weird question who's messaging you and such, whatever the situation may be, to turn this off it's really easy. On your main device, on your iPhone, one more time, go into the settings, scroll into notifications, click on notifications and scroll down into messages and if you go down where it says show in CarPlay turn that off and now your notifications will no longer show up on your CarPlay display. Now the next settings is organizing your CarPlay app library. This also includes third party apps as well. By going on your main device on the main setting page, scroll into general and here where it says CarPlay, click on it. Select the vehicle. Keep in mind all these different vehicles you see here. If you have more than one vehicle that supports CarPlay, you can actually customize it to that specific vehicle by clicking on it. So if we click on Sync 3 is a fine example. But before we click on the customize section, I also want to clarify this cool setting right here where it says allow CarPlay while locked. When this is enabled, your phone will automatically connect to CarPlay. But if you turn it off, now it requires you to unlock your device in order for CarPlay to work. Now this could be used in many different ways. This is perfect to have disabled if you have a household that shares the same vehicle. So a fine example would be if you and your spouse get in the same car, but the first person who unlocks their device, that'll be the main device for CarPlay, if that makes sense. That's how somebody could easily utilize this. This way, each has their own car, their music library, as well as playlists and directions and such for their work and job that they have preset. Now let's go ahead and carry on. Tap Customize. And here are the many different apps you could rearrange. So by tapping the little line icon on the very right, you could rearrange it like so. So if I want my music to be on top, I could easily rearrange it like this. So that's how you could rearrange it. And this is how you could also remove some unnecessary apps you really don't find yourself using whenever you're using CarPlay. By simply tapping the red icon, you can remove it or hit reset if you want to reset it all. And then for more apps, you can re-add it by tapping the plus. So this allows you to fully customize it. Now in the CarPlay settings, if you're also a responsible driver, there's no need to have the drive focus enabled. What this basically allows you to do, this allows your device to automatically toggle focus mode as soon as your device detects that CarPlay is enabled. So all your messages and people unwanted text messages and, and applications and etc will no longer send a notification to your iPhone, nor will it show up on the display on Apple CarPlay. By having this enabled, it will automatically switch your device in focus mode. But again, if you're a responsible driver, this is where you can actually go in and disable that. Now turn off, announce messages. You can have this on or off. I personally like leaving this off because it's annoying. Whenever Siri randomly reads out loud 
a incoming text message I just received. So this is where you gradually go in and disable that. And then Siri suggestions showed in dashboard. This is good to turn off whenever you have once more sensitive information on your display you don't want others to know or be aware of or just cause them to ask you weird questions. By having this turned off, all your upcoming like dental appointments, doctor appointments, will not show up on the calendar list, nor will Siri suggest certain places you're supposed to go to if you have a doctor appointment or something like that. This way, Siri by default doesn't actually automatically suggest a waypoint to your doctor appointment and etc. So turn that off if you don't want that sensitive information randomly showing up on the display. Now, album artwork, this is optional, but having this off, it basically just gives you a cleaner layout by having this on, it will just show you the artwork. Now, whenever you connect your device to Apple CarPlay, some may find it annoying whenever your music automatically starts playing as soon as the vehicle is turned on and will resume whatever track you're listening to on your iPhone. There is actually a couple ways you could have this turned off if you don't really like this feature. One way is you can actually go on your main device. If you go on clock and if you go on timer, set everything to zero. And then underneath when it says timer when it ends, Select stop playing and hit set. Now, depending on the vehicle, it will not automatically play whatever song you're last listening to. Now, if that doesn't work, you can also set the timer to one second and hopefully now that works. And if that still doesn't work, unfortunately you're gonna have to go into your main vehicle settings in the stereo system settings section typically and just look for something that could disable automatic music play. So there are three ways you can actually go ahead and disable that. Unfortunately for me, for my vehicle, it doesn't work, but in some vehicles I have noticed it does work. So there's three things you could try to disable that feature if it doesn't work for you. And if you're wondering why I have two cellular bars, um, don't worry about it, but just my current device has two different numbers. So that's why I have two cell cellular bars. That's not a hidden setting or anything like that. I just have two phone numbers on my current phone currently. And there you have it. Those are the settings I highly recommend others to at least be aware of and possibly turn off. So CarPlay is really personalized for you. Now, before I end this video, I do wanna show you guys something. If you're curious how you get wireless Apple CarPlay to work on your device, this is a little device I'm currently using in my vehicle. It works really well. It's fairly inexpensive. You can find it on Amazon. I did a whole dedicated review of it, which you can go ahead and watch right here, which I highly recommend for anybody who's just like on the same boat that I was, just want to eliminate that cable and not having to take out your phone out of your pocket as soon as you get in your car. Highly recommend that little receiver. It works really well. Aside from that, Thanks so much for watching. If you got some good, useful information out of the video, you know what to do. Greatly appreciate it. If you guys leave this video a like, it still has helped me out a lot. And get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. If you'd like to watch more, check out this video over here. As that is some awesome tips and tricks I made for the Apple CarPlay. In that video over there, that is another Apple CarPlay video, but this time is a list of third-party apps that I highly recommend others to at least be aware of. Some of them are free and they're actually really useful. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.